let's talk about public power a little bit, about how uh, important it is to understand the history of uh, our industry and you know how, how we came to be. How does City Light actually end up being an, an electric utility? Many cities across the country were the first to be electrified by entrepreneurs of different kinds. As time went by, a lot of private utilities ended up taking over these systems. The city sold them off. They created a, a, a different business model than the city really wanted to do as they became more and more uh, competitive and aggressive. So there's really a total unique contrast to public power in large cities that are served uh, like Seattle City Light serves the city of Seattle. Also, the business relationship between the city and how they govern that utility is very unique and different between those cities as well. Here I report to the mayor, I run the utility as a department of the city, uh, I'm confirmed by the council every four years and my job here is general manager and CEO. Most public utilities do not generate their own power. They buy their power from a wholesaler and distribute it. Uh, we buy uh, a significant portion of our power from the Bonneville Power Administration, but we also generate a significant portion of it. So that's a marked difference between different types of public power systems. So this is Public Power Week. It's an opportunity to celebrate uh, the community-owned and the ratepayer-owned utilities across the country. And uh, that's what uh, the American Public Power Association puts together every year. And that's what we're trying to celebrate. So. Uh, we should all enthusiastically be happy that there are still parts of the United States served in a customer-owned fashion so that we can make sure that the, the rest of the electric utility world and its competition knows that we're probably the lowest cost uh, source of service that you can, you can get in the electricity market.